A small group of Illinois lawmakers were in the Capitol today to officially start an investigation into House Speaker Mike Madigan's involvement in a bribery scheme with the state's largest utility company. WGEM's Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich has been following this process and he joins us live in Springfield tonight with the very latest. Mike. Dylan, good evening. As planned, the lawmakers set the rules for this proceeding moving forward, and the Republicans officially filed their complaint against Speaker Madigan. The hearing only lasted about half an hour, but the discussion got heated. We are not a court of law. As such, this committee is not bound by traditional rules of evidence. However, we are bound to adhere to the rules of decorum. A legislative investigation kicks off almost two months after longtime Speaker Mike Madigan was named in the deferred prosecution agreement between Commonwealth Edison and the U.S. Attorney's Office. The House Republicans charge is on the record. Representative Madigan engaged in conduct which is unbecoming to a legislator or which constitutes a breach of public trust. The federal investigation into bribery and extortion and conspiracy to violate state and federal laws will not be examined by this committee. Their sole focus, determining if the speaker is guilty of misconduct. We should not have publicly traded companies violating their internal controls and going all the way up to the CEO, as is stated in the deferred prosecution agreement, to try to do favors for a politician. Republican members submitted a list of individuals and groups they hope to hear from through this process. And although the speaker is not required to appear before the committee, Chairman Welch says Madigan has been invited to participate. He certainly has a right. Uh, to come here and speak to us. Uh, he certainly has a right uh, not to, uh, if, that's, if that's what he so chooses to do. While the committee hopes for voluntary testimony, members could use another option to get information. I hope we don't have to go the subpoena route, but that's there. But this is, I mean, the, what's in the DPA is fact. The speaker should come forward. The governor is on record as saying he has questions he needs answered, he, that the speaker needs to answer. 